everybody. How's it going? Well, today's not too bad. We're still hazy. We got the Canadian haze going on. I guess it's not really going to show up out there. Maybe after I get up over that hill there. Yeah. It's kind of smoky down here. Oh, over there, you can kind of see it. It just. I guess it's not clouds, this is all smoke, they're telling us. Anyway, yesterday, the haze helped us stay cool on the temp, and today we're only at 75. I mean, it's just perfect. <laughs> Some people are complaining about the smoke. Some allergies are getting affected, but it's keeping us cool. So, oh, just watch some YouTube videos, watch a few other channels, and then I have to go get some more insulin. Called at the right time today because the gal says, uh, <laughs> I was probably lined up funny. Uh, she said the drug rep was just there, so waiting to hear back on the paperwork I filled out to try and get the insulin, get help with my insulin. So I guess we'll go get the what we got and make sure I got enough to get through the weekend and yeah. Anyway, I don't know what we're going to do today. Wife went to work, kid ran off with her friends, and I'm just out doing my thing. So, anyway, I guess we'll find something to do and do it. So, talk to you in a few. Hey, yeah, got the insulin. Stopped and talked to the body shop about blasting that pickup bed I got. Oh, for the. Uh, for my other pickup. Oh my god. Oh boy, oh boy. I'll be back. Oh man, I don't know what the hell that was, but on my right side, just like somebody punched me in my kidney. Oh man. Anyway, uh, I was talking to them about getting that pickup box blasted on the other knee side and get it all taken care of. So that's bigger than what he can do. He gave me a couple of names to check into. Oh, God, just, somebody stuck a corkscrew in and tightened it on my back there for a second. <sighs> anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out how to get that pickle box done. And, uh, Boy, the AC is working great in the Tahoe. Wish I would have known about that trainer valve being bad a couple of years ago. <laughs> oh well. Kind of nice. I like driving the Tahoe with the windows down, but it's nicer with the windows up. And the stupid thing is, I've noticed the temp gauge now that the AC is working. The engine temps are running cooler. That don't make any sense to me, but I don't know. Okay, though. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, uh, and also I can see with the longer the day goes, the Canadian smoke is getting a little thicker here. It's made a funny looking sun. I don't know where the sun was. Let's see. It's made almost a blood red sun. Let's see if I can find that here in a second. I can't even see it. it. Should be. I don't know where it's at, but it it's a blue haze here today, so anyway, I guess uh, I'll go to the farm and see what happens, so singing out loud for myself, thinking myself. So, Alright. There you can see the haze. Oops, now I'm going to drop behind the hill. Funny thing is, I don't smell it, but you sure can see it. There you go. Now you can see it. I mean, it looks like a fog. So. Lots of smoke all over around. Kind of funny, something that far away can affect us here. <laughs> so, all right, we'll get to the farm. Well, guys, 
as I am doing a little fitting here on the Bonneville, and I use this area right here to wedge up against and push, I watch this all just pushing right here. I was off a little. I got to get in here and uh, tap on that. I watch that when that went out. I watch this come up. So now I just wish I knew how to grab a hold of that. I ain't got no clamps because I actually need to grab that and pull out. I want to take the pressure off and check. Is, uh, it moved and check my measurements. I'm measuring from these points on both sides out. This side was a little short. Uh, let's see. Uh. Okay. Uh, oops, I forgot to. Yep, shit. Uh uh. uh. All right back. Well, I'll get her under pressure and I'll do my tapping on that. You know, kids and their friends when they go to the city, they're little shits. <laughs> yes, they're little shits. You get a phone call. Dad. Yeah. Can I have a hamster? Really? She said, "I'll take care of us." That's what you said about the other. <laughs> Oh, at first I said, and I tried to explain to her, I said, okay, I don't know what to say. This is something we're going to have to sit down and talk to mom and dad about, because I said, we got to worry about the cat, because our cat likes eating and stuff like that. And I said, you got to figure in your cost, your bedding, your food, and you can't skip taking care of them, otherwise they're going to get sick and die. It don't take long. I learned the hard way when I was a kid. I mean, I did great for a couple months, and then... You slack for a couple days, the next thing you know, you got dead pets. And I said, if the cat got a hold of it, how bad would you feel knowing that your cat ate your pet? I said, I don't know. So I said, well, if you were doing more babysitting, or you had your summer job, or you had your own... I said, you need to figure... I said, okay, this is what you do, kid. You go look at the cost of the bedding, the food, and then you figure out how you're going to get there to get to the pet store to buy that stuff. All right, so I told her, I said, Crystal, you know, we're having trouble feeding ourselves. How are we going to feed a pet? Because the only reason I'm keeping the dogs out here is it seems to keep people out of here. And, uh, and it gives me company to go talk to and play with. And that one, I'm out here, too. Uh, so, I don't know. And then the cat, she begged to plead, let's bring Tom in when, we found, when it found us. And she took care of her for a while, then it's like, ah, oh, come on, I really have to, well, I said, well, I said, I'm just trying to get you to see the big picture. I'd hate to have you bring it home to let it die. She's said, all right. <laughs> I'm just, oh. <laughs> Uh, and you know, not that I don't want her to have it, but I just, there's some things she just hasn't proven herself too well on yet. Another family member of mine says you don't reward bad behavior. And, uh, yeah. Oh, well. She's a wild talk to me. Her friend's mom, and I'm like, I ain't saying that you can have it, and I ain't saying you can't. I said, This is something we gotta sit down as a family and talk about it. So, I don't know what's gonna happen. She said, Well, I guess if they bring her home, I can come over and take care of her. I said, You're gonna have to talk to them about that. I I can't say. So, <laughs> darn kids, anyway. Anyhow, I've been uh, sitting here. I loosened up the bolts and got that all straightened out because it was starting to kink when I pushed it, but I got that straightened out. I'm going to go talk to an old body shop friend of mine, an older gentleman, and see if I can borrow his uh, pinch clamp. If I can get a hold of that, and then I can pull that out, then I'll back this out 
close to a tree and hook onto it and pull that. Because I think if I pull straight out, that's going to bring it right back to where I need to. Because I noticed, see that one there is almost sitting square to the world. This one's tipped down and ain't flat. So, and I can see that there. So, oh, excuse me. Not, you can see that's pushed in there yet. I don't know. You can't. So, yeah. So, I got looking at this. I got the power wires and all that. So, this side I may not go ahead and tear apart all the way. I'll just fix it like I had fixed the last time and get this better. And, Wish I had the header panel for the lights because that mounts there and there. That would let me know how everything's going. I mean, then if I don't, then I'll get in there, wire brush this up again, best I can, and then put some of that rust kills on it and then paint it. That one over there, I got to pay attention which wire scripts I take off. I could take that off in the most of assembly, weld a lot of that. And then, uh, yeah. So yeah, once this all gets welded together, and if I had, like I said, the header panel to test fit this, then I would know. But yeah. I'm just keeping occupied, trying to keep from going crazy, so. Right. So, hey, and also there, I guess, what's everybody's big plans for the 4th of July weekend? Keep seeing on the news, news and that they're saying ISIS might try something over our 4th of July. Our Independence, jeez, oh over Independence Day, our Fourth of July celebration. So I guess everybody stay vigilant and uh, see anything strange, better report it. But, uh, yeah, I don't have a whole lot planned. Uh, not much more than what I'm doing right now. Oh, a friend of mine might come down with a project he's got. He needs to do some welding on, so might do that. thought of something here. Alright, I'm going to try it. Well, I'm going to try using my tractor here. I don't have a whole lot of room. Actually, i got to swing the front end. Down. Oh, just hang on here a second. Somebody raised the seat on me. Ah, that's better. You're in there. All right. I'll show you what I did here in a minute or so, but
going to start out pulling low, then I'm going to move up one. So. travel. Starting to move. Boy, there's a lot of tension there. It actually hits coming. See what I oh you probably can't see that. Well, let's see, I gotta go get a hammer. I left one on the car, but I guess it didn't. I'll leave that set up in case it pops and you guys got something to see. Bottom the ram out.
I'll never even change the back side of this a little. better now. There. Unhooked. Take this stuff and now I'll get the shut door open and put you guys back in the shop. I was gonna have to relocate a couple times, but alright. thinking put the screw in there to work as a pivot point and crank the ever loving hell out of those bolts and you see now I was moving the car and uh, right there's a little bit of the dent left but it moved that's sitting a lot better so yeah that's my little homemade uh, clamp. Went to town, my buddy that I thought I could borrow wasn't at his shop today, so that's okay. Can't win them all. So now I'll double check my measurements. That was cool to listen to that metal creak and crackle. I mean, it's not the metal, it's the paint on it crackling, so. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's getting warm. All right. Hey, tell me my AC ain't working. You're sweating. <laughs> Wife's like, eh, too cold. Yeah, whatever, dear. <laughs> she likes it hot. I like it cold. Well, this is another day now. Uh, And I think yesterday we left off with uh, the kid wanting the hamster. Well, she brought one home. <laughs> oh well. And then the doctor asked me if I heard anything from my prescription plan yet uh, for that paperwork I filled out. Nope. Went up to the mailbox. Guess what was in there? Return to sender. I guess that uh, program had moved from Louisiana to New Jersey and I think is where the new address so wife's going to redo the envelope and send it off again I'm like really <laughs> so I'm going to tell the doctor's office that the paperwork they got there is outdated then too because that's where it came from so no word on my insulin yet now, uh, anyway, uh, yep, it's been raining today. Uh, seemed like a lot of rain. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like we're getting a lot of rain again. 
Oh, traffic's backing up here. <laughs> oh, man. So we're going to go out to the farm, see what I can do. I think that driver's side, I might uh, uh, I'm not going to weld on the car most of that. I'm going to because there's welds up underneath and on the I got to be holy crap my twin Tahoe sitting at the gas station. Wow. Yeah, that was the same damn color. Oh, there's them shiny things getting sidetracked. <laughs> Uh, get that chunk all welded together, then fit it, and, uh, yeah. Uh, I just, I, I gotta clear my head, my, too many things going through my head right now, and trying to keep calm, trying to keep the stress down, and that, oh, yeah, yesterday, too. I don't know what time it was, guys, but uh, yesterday, the last time I remember looking at a clock, I want to say it was about two, two to three, I don't know. I know I just done a segment on the video, and then I got really, really freaking tired. And I had eight. I even drank a pop. Knowing that my number should go up, yeah, I know, been a while, but uh, that's the last time I can remember. I don't know if, but it was a little after seven o'clock when I came to in my chair in the shop. Uh, when I came to, it was like slow motion. I mean, I opened my eyes and I was like, wow, and it took forever to get my arms to move and be able to move <sighs> it was really freaking weird kind of uh, kind of worried me a little there so and then I get, got feeling better and I'm just like okay drink a bottle of water come in the town pick up a gallon of milk and a handful of french fries got home and checked my numbers I was at 104 which is good 80 to 120 is where we're supposed to be but coming down from like 260 after eating yesterday down to that low I guess my body didn't like that uh, I really don't understand like I said I don't understand why I crashed like that because I ate yesterday I actually ate more than I did the day before. Unless it was the fact that I ate better and didn't have all the carbs to stick with me or what, I don't know, but when I come to it at seven o'clock, it just felt like I'd been run over by a smack truck. Just like I almost was paralyzed. Didn't want, couldn't move at first. But now today, everything's fine, but I know I slept late. I'm getting a late start to today. Uh, it was after 11 o'clock before I got up today. I was like, what the hell? And I know it didn't help because the rain that was coming down this morning had the windows open. It wasn't coming in the window. I mean, it was just a nice rain, so I guess that helped me sleep. But, yeah. So we're going to go out to the farm, see what we can do go from there so I just need it out of the house I gotta I gotta get away from the house